Hi, you guys. Happy Friday. Today we're going to read another book by Julian Lennon. We read his book yesterday called Heal the Earth. And remember, Julian Lennon is the son of John Lennon, who was in the Beatles. This one is called Love the Earth. Since it's um, Earth Day, since it was Earth Day on Wednesday, that's why we're learning all about the Earth. So let's see how we can love the Earth. Love the Earth by Julian Lennon. Here's our beautiful planet Earth. Our planet has many different types of features. Oceans, rivers, mountains, valleys, deserts, and more. Can you touch any that you have seen or visited? So I think this is a beach. I've been to the beach and the ocean. I've been to mountains. Maybe this looks like a little forest. The magic white feather is a symbol of love. Loving the earth means wanting to protect and nurture all our land and water, all our creatures, all our people. Now, if your imagination power is ready, shake the white feather and turn the page to change it into the most fabulous airplane in the world. The white feather flyer. It will show you how to love the earth. To get underway, press the love button, gather all your imagination power, point the book up, and let's go. Ooh, we know what these are. These are monarch butterflies that we learned about at the beginning of the year. A migration is the annual journey of animals from one region to another. These monarch butterflies migrate across North America in the millions. It's the largest migration of the world. Look how beautiful they are. Monarch butterflies need to eat milkweed plants as they cross the continent, but too many of their milkweed habitats have been lost. Without food, these butterflies can't complete their journey these monarchs need our love and our help. Touch the milkweed button and see what you can do. You did it. You planted a milkweed garden. Now the butterflies can eat and complete their migration. So remember this book, just like the other book, is fiction because did we really plant a milkweed garden? No, but that's something that you could do to help butterflies that live on our earth. You could plant milkweed plants. To love the earth even more, tap the fly button, tilt the book up, and we're on our way. Many villages live too far from hospitals to get them on foot, to get to them on foot. It's safer for this mom to give birth in a hospital. What can loved ones do to help her get there? Press the transport button to change the flyer into the White Feather Flyer Village Ambulance. This kind of transport is fast and light and can carry people over rough terrain where there are few roads. That expectant mom, she's pregnant, she's about to have a baby, will be there in no time. Congratulations, but we've got more to do. Gather your imagination power Press the fly button and fly on. The oceans connect us all to each other, and some of the most wondrous creatures in our world live there. So why do we dump plastic into our water? Plastic is poison to sea creatures. Let's love them enough to protect them. Press the land button and get ready to help. Oh, look at all that plastic hurting the animals and in their habitat. Love is why we're here. Help is what we give. 
We can solve any problem when we work together. Now let's fly again. Imagine a world where all children have a right to an education. Yet in some places, girls and young women don't get to go to school. Press the build button and let's see if we can change that. We can. We're building schools for girls to attend. Girls must be safe to learn and follow their dreams too. Thank you for giving them the brighter future everyone deserves. You know what? That reminded me of a book that we read called Ruby's Wish. Remember a long time ago in China, girls were not allowed to go to school. So we talked about how that wasn't fair. And in some places still, girls can't, aren't allowed to go to school. So we can work to change that, right? And speak our minds and, and tell people that we don't think that that's fair. Now press the fly button for more adventure. Something very special happens here. Do you want to know what it is? Giant California gray whales travel from the Arctic to these peaceful waters to nurse their newborn calves. Press the white feather flyer sailboat button to be a part of it. Ooh. For centuries, gray whales were hunted by humans. Many are still hurt in collisions with ships or get tangled up in fishing nets. Can you press the shelter button to make a protected area called a sanctuary where they'll be safe? Shelter button. You did it. You are spreading love and hope. We are all one people, humanity. We have one home, planet Earth. Let your love grow and grow and grow. The end. So here is Julian Lennon's poem, just like at the end of the other book of Heal the Earth, he also wrote a little poem called Love the Earth. Love the earth and all its glory. That's the simple message of our story. All of us can help and care, rescue kindness, love, and share. So I'm noticing that this poem is rhyming, right? Some poems rhyme. I believe that we are all one, under the sky, under the sun. Children connected till the struggle is done, each to the other till the battle is won. Love the earth, protect it all, every creature great and small. For this we know and this we teach. No problem is beyond our reach. Imagine an earth so clean and bright that glows by day and shines by night, where people know and do what's right and heal the earth to earth's delight. Let this generation sound the call to heed the writing on the wall. It's time to leave a legacy a world where all live safe and free. Love the earth and you shall see how beautiful the earth can be. When love is the answer, the song and the word, we bless all the people of the world. Julian Lennon. I think the message back here is similar. So today for writing, you are going to write your own poem about the earth. Remember we talked about poems last week a lot. So we talked about how poems can rhyme. Some don't rhyme though. I wrote my own poem about the earth. So you can go get a piece of paper or a journal and write your own poem about the earth. So here's my earth poem. Remember, make up your own it can rhyme, it doesn't have to rhyme, it can be short, you can draw pictures with it, illustrate it, whatever you want. So here's mine, Earth Poem. Our planet, round with land and water, billions of people, all in this together. 
help it, heal it, love it. All right, so now you think of your own poem and have fun writing it. <laughs>